In this lecture, let's see why technical ranking matters in a SEO. Technical factors are just like an entry ticket when you enter inside a theme park. In technical factors, we only talk about the on-page optimization of your website and not about the content. There is a separate section for content. Technical factors are not so crucial factors to get higher rankings in search engine results, but they are very essential to enter into the search engine results. You could have heard everywhere that content is king. Yes, I do accept. But without these technical factors, just having good content will not take you to better search engine rankings. Keywords are getting their importance declined day by day. I will explain this through a simple example. Some 8 to 9 years back, SEO experts used to stuff keywords for every other alternate line in the post or in the content. But after some 2 to 3 years, they reduced the number of times of keyword appearance in their post for every 50 words. In last 2 to 3 years, the keyword appearance has got reduced further to every 100th word. But do you know one thing? Now the best SEO content is the one which doesn't have the keyword in the body of the post. Do you wonder how it can happen? Because recently there is a higher rate of emergence of proof terms, relevant terms, etc. Don't confuse yourself with what is a proof term? What is the relevant term? Wow, what is that? We will see everything in detail in the upcoming sections and upcoming lectures. Just learn one thing that what is SEO a year or two years back is a negative SEO now. A negative SEO is something which if you do in your blog then it will reduce your search engine rankings rather than improving the condition. Let's move on to the next important point that is readability improvement. Over the keyword research of 2013, 14, 15 and 16, search engines are giving more importance to readability. Readability is nothing but can a 6th grade or a ninth grade student be able to read your post? or is it readable only by a postgraduate or a graduate student? So, if your readability score is more, then it means that a 6th or 8th grade student can read and understand your content. Next comes hashtags and description. Search engines expect the existence of headings inside your content. For example, instead of just increasing the text size, for headings or making them bold, you should assign h1, h2 and h3 tags for headings, subheadings and minor headings respectively. Also, they expect you to give a separate meta description in WordPress excerpts. Next comes domain and URL authority. A domain with higher SEO visibility is 100 times better than a normal website with 100 keyword optimized articles or posts. Nowadays, people are writing longer and longer posts. For example, posts that are running about 2000 to 3000 words. Also, people tend to add more multimedia content. For example, videos, images and several animation effects inside the post which causes slower loading. Earlier, Google tends to boost search engine rankings for websites which loads faster. But that's not the case now. If your website loads slower, then your search engine ranking will move lot many places back in the search engine results. So, page speed or page loading time was a luxury 2-3 to three years back which is an essential commodity now. So let's see how we can improve and implement 
all these technical factors inside our websites.